People will oftentimes say, man, I, I didn't know what you were doing or I thought it was just a big mess up there. And, and then all of a sudden they're like, then I saw it. And, and then I thought it was done and you just kept going, but then it just got better and better. And so to me, that says so much about um, life. I had a really dysfunctional, um, challenging upbringing. I was on my own by the time I was 15 years old. So um, it was just really difficult in life. Um, by the time I was 19, I, I pretty much shut down all the gifts that I, I had been using prior. So I stopped drawing, I stopped um, writing. I also love to write. Just kind of went through this period of about eight years of not doing much um, and was pretty isolated. Uh, it led me to see one of my senior pastors, um, Dr. Alan McRae, who is a, a counselor and now a life coach. He began to walk me through this process of, of healing and, and I just felt a lot of freedom. So I went home and started drawing again and it was like my gift had never left. It, it had gotten better um, over those um, eight years of not, not drawing. Um, I let him know I was gonna try to paint and he said, when you go home, um, to paint, just know that it's God's work flowing through you. So I went home and I set up my my easel and my paints and I did a Bob Marley painting in two and a half hours. And within that first year, I was painting full time. With the first day I started, I did four paintings in 24 hours. So, I mean, I was kicking them out. I had a desire to do speed paintings, um, but I wanted them to be worship also. Um, so in my alone time, I would hear God say to me, I want you to, to worship me like you're a kid again, and you're just dancing for me. And so I, I would, I was just free to worship God in my alone time. And over time that started to um, overflow into my, um, my worship time in front of people. And uh, a lady who had brought her husband to, to church and he had been an atheist um, his whole life. They'd been married 13 years and it was Easter, so she brought him to church and he had watched the uh, Shroud of Turin, which is this piece being created. And it was, a, it was a speed painting, so it was, I had eight minutes to do this painting. I mean, paint was flying and it was, it was intense. It was, it was an awesome experience, but he gave his life to the Lord um, that day. And he told his wife that um, in seeing that painting, um, is what did it, that he, he had an encounter with God. So just, just incredible. It's incredible what God is doing right now through art. And for me, knowing where I've come from and what a broken life I've come from and the incredible amount of healing um, and wholeness that I've had to walk through in my adult Christian life, and knowing what he's doing is just, it's just so exciting. And I, I just wanna be able to, um, to give that, to other people as well. You know, God is that master um, creator. As long as we stay on that canvas, um, He's the one who's gonna bring it to completion. So the finished product um, is, is something that requires a process to take place. And that process requires that mistakes are made. Um, it requires that, that effort is put forth and strokes are put on that canvas. I mean. There could be, in some people's minds, many mistakes on this canvas that have taken place, but it came together to be a masterpiece, and that's our lives.